And now for the how-to portion of our video. If you're ready to upgrade your current vision spin props with flow caps to the new pod sleeve, you're gonna need a special part, which is this vision pod adapter. It's a 3D printed part that goes into the pod shell to allow you to push the button on your vision toys. If you're going to set up your capsule version, however, you're going to want to make sure you grab a ring. This does the exact same function while holding your capsules into the end of the pod shell. Let's start with this set of vision toy. First, we're going to want to pull off our flow cap and grab our new pod sleeve. This is a bit of a tight fit, but that's on purpose. You can just Wedge it at an angle, give it a turn, and then slide it up. Once you've got it onto your shell or onto your shaft, you'll actually be able to pull it all the way down here to the handle, just so you can keep it safe for later. Uh, coming over the tapered end of the connector is actually much easier than coming up. The next part is we're going to need to get this VPA into our pot shell, and to do that, we're going to implement a spoon. So this is a tight fit on purpose. And the reason why is because when pulling your shell on and off of your, uh, your tube props, the, tube, or the pod shell can stretch. And we don't want the VPA at the bottom getting lost when you're at the fire circle at your local festival. To install, we're going to shove the VPA in to our pod shell just a little bit at an angle. So that way, we can take the blunt end of our spoon and just press around the outside edge of the BPA until we feel it seat at the bottom of the, shot of the pod shell. There is a little cavity down there for it to fit into, and you will know when it is nice and snug. In the event that you need to get this back out, we recommend pliers. It's not easy. Once we're this far though, the next part's easy. I find that it's easiest to install my pod shell by coming a little bit at an angle because the VPA does end up going into or inside of the tube so that it can meet, meet your button. Ta-da! All right, now for the last step, slide our pod sleeve up. And at this point, it's gonna be a little bit of a friction fit, but if you push, Right to the edge where the tube meets the connector, there's a little lip on the inside of the pod sleeve that sits right in between those two parts. And that way, it won't come flying off. Ta-da! For your other leashy props like rope dart, there is a flow mass in the way from installing your pod sleeve. So you can either take your flow mass off of that prop, or you can feed the entire dart leash up through the pod sleeve first, and then just it into place. So you got a vision contact set. The way that we normally send these out, the flowers is a little bit further choked up or next to the mask that's inside of it. So in order to install our pod sleeve situation up here, you are going to need to remove your flowers and reassemble them just a little bit further down to make room for all of these new parts. If you have a capsule base rig, and you happen to have mass on the ends of, the, of that prop, you're going to want to remove the mass first before installing your pod sleeve. In order to install for a capsule ring, we're going to want to grab our lights and our new C-ring. Pop the C-ring onto the end of your light and then turn it to make sure that it seats into position. And grab your pod shell and insert. A little bit of an angle doesn't hurt. You'll feel it slide right into place when you get to the end. Let's set this aside for now. Let's take a look at our pod sleeve. Same exact situation on pretty much every tube-based prop. Little bit of an angle, little bit of a wiggle, and we can slide this right off. The further down that you get, the easier it is to install your or install your pod light or your pod shell. And from here, you can just insert, make sure that the pod shell comes down around the end of the tube, slide it into place, and then we can slide our pod sleeve up to meet it. Ta-da!